Hey guys, how's it going? I haven't did a video in a while because I've literally been fighting off some kind of virus for the past, feels like, four to six weeks. And I just jumped rope for about, I don't know, two to five minutes. It wasn't much, but I'm trying to get into jumping rope and my coordination isn't that great, so <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, what do you call it? This is my anti Sephora haul. Um, has anybody noticed like the prices at Sephora are just atrocious? And like, you know, you're almost paying like rent for stuff that you love at Sephora and I don't know, I'm opting out this time. I'm getting sick of it. And um, even shoppers prices, it's like you're paying, you're, you get the points but you're paying for it. <clears throat> you're paying a premium to get those points. So I, it's not glamorous, but I went to Walmart to see what I could get for the same products that I was going to buy at Sephora. And, um, what was it? I don't know what that is. DVDM 97. Hmm. Okay. wasn't included and oh, right. the hand wash wasn't included and a lip oil somewhere here okay so um, I'm crazy about Moroccan oil right now and um, <clears throat> sorry I'm just digging in the bag uh, I was buying the soap and it was like, you know, it's a really good size soap. It lasts for like, I don't know, four weeks or something. It lasts a really long time and makes your skin feel really soft. And it's $19, so I'm like, I thought I would try something different. And I found the Ole Hyaluronic Acid Body Lotion. Did I buy two body lotions? Okay, good. So yeah, for the soap, I got the Ole Hyaluronic Acid. Um, restores hydration for visibly nourished skin. 24 hour moisturizing body wash. And it smells good. Like I usually, I usually buy the Ole brand. Um, I'll get the lavender or the pink one. And it was like, I don't know, what does my receipt say? At Shoppers, it was like 12, I can't remember, something, 12.99, and let's see, at Walmart, it was like 10.97, so compared to 19.99 with uh, the Moroccan oil body soap, and I usually love the Sol, Sol, Sol de Janeiro, um, the Bum Bum Cream, but it's the, it's the, the pink one. It was, it's like a biggie bottle. So lately it's been going up to like, what was it, 115 or something like that. And I got the Ole Hyaluronic Acid. Nourishes with deep moisture and one use body lotion. That was twelve ninety seven, and that's probably about as much as you get in the tub. I would get up and get the. It's right there. You see it right there. The Sol de Janeiro. I'm down to like that much. I usually stock up every season on 
what do you call it, own my body favorites, skincare and everything. But at this time, I'm like, no. Like, I looked at my my order and I'm like seven hundred dollars. Like, holy shit, that's that's rent for months. Like for or even like half a rent for some people. And I'm like, what the hell? Sure, you got like 20% off, but like you're still paying. Like if you're doing like payments, you're still doing payments for like the next four weeks. And I was like, no. And my other thing I like getting was the Bobby Brown Enriched Face Base. And I, oh, my, my tub is broken. Well, it was bent. I didn't take a look at what do you call it. But yeah, um, I usually get this Bobbi Brown Image Face Base. It's like a thick cream. I just, I don't know, like in the past 10 years, I really love like thick cream. I like nourishing my skin. And what do you call it? Holy crap, I don't know if I can open that. Okay, I could. And it's got like that famous Nuxima smell, but it's Nivea. It's like, damn, you know you're OG when you remember having like Nuxima. But I'm like really sad. Look at that big dent. Okay. And my other thing, usually. In the last year I got kind of spoilt. Um, I bought the Super Goop. All these are jumbos by the way that I was purchasing every season, like every six months. Um, and I bought jumbos. Um, and then this past March I found out about Super Goop. The, what do you call it? Sunscreen. And I opted for the Neutrogena Ultra Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen so I could just leave it in the, what do you call it? In the bathroom. I won't be taking this on any trips. Dry Touch Sunscreen. And um, I think it's 60. Frost Spectrum UVA UVB Water and Sweat Resistant for up to 80 minutes. I'm not selling you on the product, so that's just what I opted for. Um, sorry, I'm still getting remnants from the cold. I usually buy the Moroccan oil. Um, it's like a hair serum. It's like a, and it's a jumbo. And I opted for the Mark Anthony. Argon oil. It's a hydrating, dry styling oil. Light, ultra lightweight, strengthen and smooth, frizz for shinier hair, plus keratin. I thought I'd give that a try. And I do believe that was like twelve ninety seven compared to I can't remember what it was. Fifty six. Oh, <clears throat> I am obsessed. I'm still obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, was it airbrush flawless um, setting spray? Like, um, what do you call it? Is this the jumbo or is that the regular? That's the regular big one. That's how much I have left. The other one's empty. I'm just holding on to it because I, I refill it with the big one. And sometimes I stick it in the um, when we go on our trips and I might yeah. Like unfortunately I'll probably be repurchasing that. Not now, but later. Um so I decided to go for the or I forget. <laughs> Sorry, I apparently don't know how to talk. Um so I usually go for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush rock airbrush flawless setting spray and i think that one was also 56 or something i can't check because it's on my phone it was around 60. we'll just yeah 
And so I thought I'd give Maybelline a try and the Masking Fix Makeup Setting Spray up to 16 hour matte finish. And I thought I would give it a try. Just because. Um, what else do I get? I usually get the, um, sorry, make it like, well, this is my first time ever trying it and I really loved it. Um, I just didn't get it because the prices are atrocious. Um, the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizing Primer, that one I think was 58 and I opted for the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless mattifying primer with clay and that's exactly what the Makeup Forever um, Matte and Poreless claims were and I think this one was I want to say $12.97 let's check our receipt fit me Eleven ninety six. So I was wrong. Still, um, I actually tossed out everything because everything started turning. Even though it was good for another month. Um, what else do I have here? And then I absolutely love the Laneige um, slip <laughs> sleep. Sleep, what is it? Sleep mask? I don't know. I can't remember. But overnight sleep mask or something like that. I thought I would give the Burt's Bees a try. Overnight intensive lip treatment. Actually, let's give it a try now. Because I don't know if you notice. Like, the reason I got the Laneige is because I got peely lips. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I don't hydrate enough. Mm. That like kind of looks like the peppermint um, shea butter. What do you call it? It even tastes like it. The peppermint. Mm. It was like a chapstick I made a couple years ago. I was really into making my own products. And this was probably one of them. Give it a try. You never know. Um, and then I discovered the NARS um, Light Reflecting Radiant Foundation last year. And oh my god. It was seriously gorgeous on my skin. Like on top of the Makeup Forever um, Pore Minimizing Primer. Like I even used it for work. I used it like almost every day. And um, I decided to go with the uh, Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation. And how much were you? I almost want to say $13.96. How much was that setting spray? Did I even show you the setting spray? Oh yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that setting spray was $13.96. Or $14.96 probably. And then the foundation was $13.96. And then I got the... <clears throat> it might be too late, but uh, they didn't have very much there. Um, I got the corresponding, what do you call it, Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Concealer in 25. I almost think that might be too late. <laughs> oh well, we'll give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Um, and then I discovered, what do you call it, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the pot the brow pomade it comes in like a little jar I actually still have it because I did not want to get rid of it and it 
it's looking kind of like ugh. it still works like there's still a lot in there um but i noticed it started like breaking off and i thought i would give it a try to l'oreal um they didn't have very much that was like available for like you to grab you had to like call someone and i don't feel like calling someone just to look at products so um i got the unbelievable brow long wear brow gel uh in the shade 570 burnt brunette like i need stuff that is like that will stay sweat proof and it'll make you look good so and then i got the corresponding um long wear brow top coat so like you put this on then you put this on and it should like stay apparently up to 30 hours i don't i'm not gonna wear a brow product for 30 hours um yeah and then on top of that purchase uh, i purchased separately was the mentos gum I don't know, I really like pink gum. And I thought I would try the Milani. Oh, what's going on with my words? Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil. I don't know, I'm really into my lip oils right now. Like, trying to keep the lips all nourished. Oh yeah, and I wanted to get the, this is from the, the original. Um, I usually get the Fenty, um, the Fenty Gloss, it's, I can't remember what it was, Fenty Glow or something like that, and it's like 26 and how much were you? Oh, that concealer is thirteen ninety six. okay. Um, oh, eleven ninety six. And I got the, I'm absolutely in love with the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, and I got the shade... Rust. Why do they gotta put like tags on everything? Like I get it. People like stupid people steal. I'm like why you gotta steal? Like, dude, you're wrecking it for all of us. Like we can't even go into Walmart and take a look, look at the products because everything's under those stupid red tags. That literally looks like the Fenty Glow shade and with the shimmer. Seriously? And the Fenty Gloss is always like, they're always so amazing. Um, yes. Why not? We'll just try this. Look at that. Like, wrecked your gloss. I need to get that goopy gone. But I don't know, like, how do you feel about Sephora now? Like, I don't know, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because last year apparently they made like a billion dollars in revenue and all they gave their employees was like a cookie. And I'm like, if I earned you a fucking million dollars or a billion dollars, I want like a celebration and I want a piece of that pie. You know, I, I don't think they're going to give you that piece of that pie, but you know, like a bonus would have been nice or like, hey, you know, here's some credit, get some free makeup. You know what I mean? And I was like, no. Like I low key would get rid of my Sephora account, but there is stuff that I really enjoy and I'm just opting out this time because like we're going on a trip in June and I probably shouldn't have even bought this stuff. I don't know. Like they don't tell you <laughs> and like I don't know it's just I guess my I don't know how to explain it. 
my reasoning sometimes never comes through. And it's like, I'll just worry, like, I will let Steph, uh, future Stephanie worry about that. And then meantime, I'm like, ooh, I got all these stuff. And then later I'm like, fuck, why did I buy it? And, I don't know. Let's see. Holy crap, this is like, I'm still working on this. I'm trying to get the lip gloss free. Free the lip gloss. From the stupid blue tape. Like, if you're this adamant about anti-theft, how come you fucking don't have someone just sitting there? Like, if you're losing millions of dollars, pay someone just to sit there and, like, bullshit with the customers, make them feel good, help them with their purchases, and, like, school them, like, hey, this might be the correct shade for you. Like, even, what was it, like, courses online teach you about, like, shade matching and stuff like that. Because, you know, moms are going to go in there and they're going to be like, um, they'll probably spend 20 minutes in there trying to look for their right shade. And, like, how are you supposed to, like, I had to look at my phone just to see if it might um, fit my complexion because there's no mirror there to look at. So many stickers. Okay, finally free the lip oil. I got so many lip products. Oh my god, that's really good. Mmm. Passion fruit co coconut lip oil. Mm. Nice. I love it. So, my total purchase came up to $198.85. Whereas <clears throat> the order from Sephora was totally, I think, $707. No tea, no shade, or no, sorry. no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, like, I don't know. Um, and then after the, what do you call it, the 20% off, I think it was like five, what was that, seven of seven, some, it was like 140 off, seven of seven. Let's just call it 700. And that would be like, what? Oh god, you're trying to get me to do math? Um, 700. 600. 560? I almost want to say. I don't know. But even like, you still have to pay taxes on that. And if you do payments, that's like, I think it was like 160 every two weeks. And, I don't know, it's beautiful stuff, but I'm noticing the prices are creeping up and up and up, and I'm getting sick of it, because Sephora is so fucking greedy, and, you know, enough's enough, like, we've all, we, there comes a point when you say no, because, Sure, it's really good stuff, but I don't remember items, like, costing an arm and a leg. <clears throat> Just freed the concealer. Uh, sorry, my nose is still kind of like, look. So hopefully I got the right shade, because I'm opening everything now, and it's mine. I'm really happy, like I spent <laughs> um, like an hour in Walmart today and weirdos kept just going back and forth, I swear they were keeping an eye on me and trying to let me know that they were keeping an eye on me and I'm like, dude, I've got nothing on me, but like my pockets are full and I'm here to shop, it's like, 
Read the room, people. Read the room. If I wanted help, I would have asked. If I didn't ask, go away. I don't know. I'm, I'm an asshole customer. I know I am. Just trying to free the foundation. But yeah, I'm like, I'm excited because, um, and I don't like waiting two weeks for your products anyway. Sure, it's beautiful stuff. Ooh, pump. It's beautiful stuff and what do you call it? It's... You know... I get to do my face maybe... It might be a little dark but... Blend it out, it'll be okay. Yeah, see? Give it a whirl, you never know. And Sephora's been getting really cheap with their samples lately. And if you buy, what do you call it? The rewards, they might give it, or you know, you, they'll give you your rewards, but they're really cheap with the samples. Give you like two tiny little ones. Mm. So I don't know, I just thought I would give it a try. Actually, I might, what do you call it, do this cake. I like a light concealer, I don't know why. Like I'll do it under, not bad, not bad, not bad. 27 minutes, holy moly, just been unboxing everything. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Are you, like, are you going nuts on the Sephora sale? Are you gonna help Sephora, what do you call it, get to another million or a billion? Good for you, like seriously. Like, if that's your jam, seriously, like, have fun, because, you know, I like being that girl that smells good and looks good, and once in a while, I'll have time to do my whole face, and I like having the products on hand to do so. And that's it. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. I did my eyebrows yesterday. First time in, like, six weeks can't wait to try out the new products. So I work in like a 30 degree environment and just go like this and my eyebrows gone. Love you guys. Bye!